In this tutorial, we explain how to upload an experiment from the SciToolkit library, from the SciToolkit experiment library, so to speak, to your personal SciToolkit account. Now, there are lots of experiments, and let's say you use the Stroop task, which is a very popular task. And there are different versions. It doesn't really matter for the example which one we take. Let's take the regular one, the Stroop task. Now, you first need to download the zip, the zip file. And if you are at a download section of this page, it says the site toolkit code zip file. And we click on that. And if you do that, it adds it to the, down, to the files that you have downloaded. You might have some other files downloaded as well. So if you're on your local computer, go to your uh, files, you will have something like this. You have downloads, and in my downloads currently, oh, there is only one file. It's called stroop.zip, as, as it should be, because that's what I just downloaded. Um, this is the file that I need. I should not unzip it. That's quite important. Now go back. Uh, I go to my personal account. I already logged in. If you don't have an account, of course, you can register an account. It's, uh, it doesn't cost money to register an account. And you say create new experiment. Here on the left are all the actions. And if you click that, you get two options. Uh, create a completely new experiment. Oh, that means from scratch. So that's what we not are going to do. We're doing method two from a site toolkit experiment file that you've just downloaded. So you need to now upload it to this account. And you select a file that you have in your downloads on your local computer. You just press select. And then it says here stroop.zip. And then you can choose your own name. So I can call this my stroop. Uh, and then create experiment. And now you see here, I'm directly in there. I see the code of this file that I've just uploaded. Now, this code comes in this case with images that you can see under view files that these are the images that are being used in this code. And, um, you know, you, now you probably want to see, okay, but does it work? So in order to do that, you need to do something compile and run. So you press compile that creates it into runnable code. And you press run experiment, click to start. And yes, there we go. And that's the experiment that we know. Um, now you might want to know, okay, that's, that's great. Uh, let's now run that with participants. So that's something that you might want to do. So how do you do that? Now you could just run the experiment, of course, here with your participants, but that's not how you typically do it. What you would do is you create your own new survey, create new survey. You say my, my study, whatever you call it, you create that. And then you get a so-called site toolkit questionnaire in which you can include an experiment. Now it comes with some standard questions. I would recommend you if you've never done this before to use the easy mode which is really easy to work with, click and point. There are some tutorials on the website, on our YouTube channel. Uh, what you want to do is basically after the last question, after you ask how old are you and what is your gender, which are the typical questions you should ask, you add a plus and then you say experiment. You select from this thing, what can you show? You show an experiment and then you can select one of the experiments that have already been uploaded. It's the, the last one that's uploaded, it's my Stroop save this question and I can go back to the easy mode overview so I see I have my questions ready now this uh, in, in order to make it with a welcome screen and everything you, you, you actually also you need to compile the survey one time you need to make it online so, so so that and then you actually have a link that you can send to people or you can create a QR code that you can hang up in your institution for people to invite uh, uh, although that works best for studies where you only have a mobile phone or that are, uh, you know, like, it depends a little bit. I mean, this is a little bit beyond uploading the experiment. We're going a little bit further here. You can set lots of things, but this is then how you would uh, send it out to your participants. And then you can collect data and look at the tutorials on this channel. 
uh, on how to do that. Well, if you like this video, please like and subscribe.